Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on nine absolutely beautiful, game-changing beauty products that make me feel flawless, that have changed the way I do my makeup or the way that my makeup overall looks and feels. I think that every single one of these products play an important role in making my routine much better than it was before I started using them. They definitely stand out from the crowd for me and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. I will not only be sharing with you guys these nine game-changing products but throughout this video I will also be doing my makeup with you so I truly hope that you guys like this video and if you do don't forget to please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below now let's go ahead and get started talking about these nine products that have changed my makeup routine Today I'm coming to you guys with absolutely zero makeup on because I'm going to be telling you guys about products that just change the way my makeup feel. They make me feel more flawless. They make me think differently about like my features, my skin. And I think because makeup is about layering products on, it's important to recognize that some of these products you use before you even start putting makeup on. So product number one that was a game changer for me and it makes me feel really beautiful every time I use it is this little thing right here. If you guys don't shave your face yet, I am telling you this completely changes the way that the makeup lays on your face. We have invisible little hairs on our face, our little peach fuzz hairs that really make foundation and powder and all of that look incredibly different when they're there versus when they are not there. I honestly don't know how often I shave my face. I do it whenever I feel like I need to. I used to have a lot of hair right here in front of my ears and that is usually the indicative that I need to shave my face again because these are the ones that grow the most and the fastest. So whenever it's time to take these out, I go ahead, get my little razor and go to town. Not only does this take away your peach fuzz that like I said makes your makeup lay differently on your face, but it also really helps with exfoliating because you're basically kind of scraping your face a little bit very gently, do it very gently, but you will be amazed at the amount of dead skin that comes off when you use one of these. And don't get me wrong, I exfoliate all the time, but every time I use this, I still see dead skin coming out. My absolute favorite thing that shaving your face does for me personally is that I get to see my makeup laying on my face a lot more flawlessly with a lot less texture and just overall a lot more smooth than before I did this. The second game changer for me is this little jar right here. This is Magic Cream. I know this is a super pricey moisturizer, but if you can afford it, I definitely recommend that you get this for yourself if you have normal to dry skin like me. This is the best feel-good cream. I love that it makes my skin feel hydrated, not just when I apply it, but throughout the day. And it also transforms the makeup that I put on top of it. I've used now maybe like three jars of Magic Cream and whenever I try to like deviate and like go back to like another moisturizer, I don't last three days. The third day I'm like, okay, I just, I need to get back on my Magic Cream because it honestly just changes the way that your skin feels. It feels so much softer and smoother and it changes the way that the makeup applies on top of your skin when you're using it. Because Magic Cream is a little bit of a thicker cream, the best way to apply it is to just kind of dot it in the center of the face and then massage it on. Of course, you want to do upward lifting motions when you do it. By the way, I already had Magic Cream on. I'm just doing more for you guys. <laughs> you want to do upward lifting motions when you do it and just make sure that it really just sinks into your skin. This feels so, so good. If you guys don't know, I work at a Charlotte Tilbury counter, so I've been trained the way that they want their products to be used, and they recommend doing a lymphatic drainage massage with it because it feels good. And since I learned it, every time I put my Magic Cream on or any other moisturizer really, because a lymphatic drainage massage doesn't have to do with Magic Cream, but with um, puffiness and getting liquid out of your face, I just love getting my knuckles and going underneath my cheekbones and just pushing back. It feels incredible. <laughs> 
and it really helps get any puffiness out of your face so nicely you can pinch I'm not gonna pinch right here because I have the breakout still but you can pinch from the chin back and just get any puffiness out of your face not only does this feel incredible like I said but you like just show your skin who's boss like you you feel tighter when you do a lymphatic drainage massage so I recommend it with or without magic cream get your knuckles go underneath your cheekbones and just push back with a fair amount of pressure it feels absolutely incredible but then of course back to my game-changing product right here I just absolutely I'm obsessed with the moisture that it gives my skin and the glow that it gives my makeup moving on to product number three now we're going to start putting makeup on and product number three is what inspired this whole video and it is this right over here this is the Patrick Ta brow wax I reviewed this a while ago the first time I used it I did not use it right and so I didn't give it a bad review I just said I had to play with it more but now that I have used an entire one I can tell you that I could probably not live without it <laughs> my hands have magic cream on it and like this is impossible to open <laughs> oh my god hold on Look at how nasty this looks. This is completely empty. It has like the thinnest rim around it. It was definitely time to get a new one. And I got another clear one. I've heard good things about the brown one, but I feel like I would mess that up because when I put it on, I'm kind of messy with it. And I feel like I would just have brown all over my face. So I have another one. This is what it looks like when it's new. It just kind of looks empty because it is fully clear. And I thought I should give you guys a little demo on how I do it. Now, I have very different brows from most people. My eyebrows are very dark and very coarse. So if I just get a little bit of wax or clear brow gel or whatever and just like comb through my brows, it literally doesn't do anything to make them look fluffy and feathery the way I want them to look. But with this wax right here, the way I use it, they just lay perfectly on my face and they look super fluffy. So that is why I love this product. Brows are the first step I do after I moisturize my face because, like I said, I'm a little messy with it. So I need to be able to like clean them up. I can't have foundation on when I do them. You can use water or a setting spray to use your brow wax. Now you have to be careful with which setting spray you use. I've been using the KVD one and this one works fantastic. But for a little while I was trying to use the Lancome Fix It Forget It setting spray for it. And that one must have some kind of moisture in it that every time it would make my eyebrows fall. And I did not understand why sometimes the wax made my eyebrows stay all day and sometimes they didn't. And I've since realized that the Lancome setting spray must have some kind of moisturizing thing in it that doesn't work for wetting the wax but this kvd one works fantastic for me and since it's a little bit too drying to use on my face i i'm using it on this i do one full spritz and just work my spoolie through the wax to pick up a good amount of product and then i just go in and fluff them up and with the other end of the brow you kind of like make them lay down on your skin I've never done this on camera, so hopefully it comes out the way that it comes out when I'm paying closer attention to them. Okay, just like this. This is my eyebrow that behaves the best. This one gives me a lot more trouble, so... <sighs> Second eyebrow, I have to spritz it again. And then, once again, I'm just going to run the wax through my brows. and then press them on my skin. Okay, and this is what they look like once I've placed them where I want them. This completely changed the way I did my eyebrows because I used to like trim the heck out of them and then just go crazy with the pencil and fill them in. And while I still do my eyebrows really dark because I have such dark eyebrow hairs, I literally don't have an alternative. Um, they look a little bit more fluffy and a little bit more natural per se than before i'm going to like give you guys a little before and after brow picture right here the way i used to do them versus the way i do them now so you can kind of see the difference now if i didn't want to be doing this every day i could definitely get my brows laminated again i did a video on brow lamination i think back in january and i absolutely love the way they looked because they look like this 
but then this product came out right as I needed to like get them done again and so I just been doing this ever since I would still probably get them laminated again in the future just because it was so convenient and easy and you don't have to spend five minutes making them lay flat on your face but for an everyday thing this is fine and if you want your bra hairs to just like obey and just do what you want them to do this product will change your life because again my bra hairs are super coarse and this is the only thing that makes them stay in place next i pass the spoolie through my skin basically on top of my eyebrow just in case there's any wax remaining up there this will get it out and if any hairs are a little bit too long and they need to be like pushed down a little bit this will help me do that i'm going to clean right underneath my eyebrow with a little bit of concealer and as you can see when i clean underneath my eyebrow i kind of shape the bottom side of my eyebrow a little better because there are some places where i'm lacking brow hairs for sure especially in this one and this brings us to product number four that has been a game changer and definitely makes me feel a lot better about my makeup application and that is this right here this is the mac shape and shade brow tint in the color stud which is the darkest one they have now this on one side has this little sponge applicator thing with which you can fill in your eyebrows i do not use that at all um, what I use is the pen side of it because it is finally a dark enough pen that I can get away with not penciling in my brows. I've used two of the shades from the Glossier pens and I've heard people raving about those. For some reason, neither one of those colors is dark enough for me. This one right here is really dark and it really makes a huge difference the moment it touches my skin. So let me show you. And with the tip of it just kind of like barely touching my skin, I go right to the edge of that concealer and I fill my eyebrows in where I need to. And doing it with this super light little strokes makes my eyebrows still look nice and feathery and natural and it doesn't mess with the way I laid my hairs, which a pencil would definitely mess with that. I'm going back with my little brush that has concealer on it just to make sure that things are still looking nice and neat right underneath i'm going to do the same thing on this one of course next i use this bigger concealer brush right here to just diffuse the concealer underneath my eyebrows and the concealer i use underneath my eyebrows is always the lancome one the reason i love that one is because it is super hydrating and creamy so i can have it right underneath like looking super thick for a good amount of time and it doesn't dry down <laughs> so I can still move it after I'm done filling in my eyebrows all right so this is what they look like once I'm done and this makes me feel just so much better about my brows because I don't like them at all when they are just like doing their weird thing that they do okay <laughs> All right, so let's keep going with the makeup application. I'm going to use this Dior Universal Backstage Primer right here. This is not one of the game-changing products, but it is one of my favorite primers for sure. <laughs> It's so a game-changing product number five is the Pat McGrath foundation. This is my go-to foundation every time that I want to feel good about my skin basically. It lays perfect on top of my skin and it doesn't make my skin look makeup-y. It makes my skin still look like skin but a lot more perfected because it is such a thin foundation with such a beautiful medium coverage. It almost looks undetectable on your skin but it makes you look flawless so i have a lot of appreciation for this foundation i don't wear it on a regular basis it's not my most favorite everyday foundation this is my feel good about yourself and your skin type of foundation <laughs> especially now that i have all these breakouts it's a fake it till you make it type of thing okay i have it in the color number nine i'm going to do a little bit right here on the back of my hand and i'm going to just use a brush to apply it I did half of my face so you can see how beautiful this coverage is like it looks natural but it covered all of the redness you can still see like my major breakout but like everything else is nice and hidden and it still looks like beautiful glowy skin let me get super close to the camera so that you can see how like truly undetectable and thin this foundation is laying on the skin just check out how undetectable that looks this is like the lowest light I'm going to do a little more so you can see it in different lighting. 
it's almost as if it wasn't there and you just have a natural like Instagram filter over your face type of thing. Incredible, I love it. Let me go ahead and do the other side now. The next product that is an absolute game changer for me and shame on me for talking about this specific one and shame on YSL for discontinuing it is a color corrector. Now I'll give you an alternative. The Charlotte Tilbury color corrector is also incredible and the serum correctors by Bobbi Brown are also really, really nice. However, I'm going to show you my favorite one even though it's been discontinued. I will link the alternatives down below for you guys. This right here from YSL is a peach color corrector corrector that no longer exists. But the reason color corrector in general for me is something that is a game changer is because I have pretty dark under eye circles in my opinion and every time I wear a concealer even if it's a full coverage concealer I can see a little bit of a gray hue coming through and that means that the concealer didn't fully cover the purple tones right underneath my eyes so when I use a little bit of a color corrector underneath any concealer I stop seeing that and it makes me feel a lot better about the way that I did my makeup color corrector only needs to be applied on the places where you have the discoloration that you're trying to cover so for me that is right in this area here inner corner and at the beginning of the under eye and a little bit here towards the end so everywhere and i'm going to use this sponge to blend it in and i'm just going to tap it in place i'm not going to drag it because i want the coverage to stay exactly where i pressed it and just check out the difference that this already makes so then i can can drop everything I guess I was saying <laughs> so then I can use any concealer that I like over it and I can be sure that that annoying grayish hue is not going to come through my makeup okay so color corrector applied and I'm going to do the full cover concealer by YSL over top of it oh that was a lot that was a lot that was a lot I'm always talking about this concealer because honestly I love it but make sure that if you want to try it you get matched in store they have a fair amount of concealer colors but the undertones are weird the undertones are so weird so I love it and they definitely have colors that work for me but I don't think they did a good job with a lot of the medium and dark shades for sure by the way, I'm sorry if this video is super long, I just haven't sat down to film a video for an entire week and I missed you guys. <laughs> I miss sitting down and, you know, talking to you. Concealers on, I'm going to set it with my Pat McGrath Under Eye Setting Powder. And with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder, I'm going to just smooth out my pores right here on my cheek and my nose a little bit. I'm also going to do the center of my forehead with it. I think I lost track of what number items I'm on, but I think these are seven and eight. And seven and eight, I don't think are super groundbreaking on their own, but combined. So these are both from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand and the fairly new Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer. I, for some reason, had not used these two together yet and I tried them the other day and I just fell in love with the way that they look. I think they are a perfect combination and these two combined definitely make me feel some type of way, okay? So let's go ahead and go for them. I like to just kind of like dot this one everywhere. There we go. I know this looks super scary. I just trust the process. I'm going to get my sponge right here and blend it in place. I'm diffusing the cheek area upwards. Lastly, I'm doing my jawline, of course. And my nose. Okay, so now that I'm done with the contour wand, we definitely look a lot more shaped than we did before. And I'm going in with the bronzer next and a big fluffy brush. This one is the Morphe E3. I'm just going to get a good amount of bronzer and go over everywhere where I applied that wand. The fact that this bronzer has the same formula as the airbrush 
flawless powder makes it make your skin look super nice and smooth which I love and I have it in the number two color which I really like for over the contour wand because I feel like it softens it and makes it look a little bit more natural and it just overall gives you a really beautifully like smooth but yet contoured appearance and because it's summertime, I'm going to get a little extra bronzer and just do it right here on the sides of my nose as well. I just want to look tan right now, okay? <laughs> but you can choose not to do this. Now that I'm done with the bronzer, I'm going to get Milani's Luminoso blush and I'm going to just apply that one on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back into the bronzer. I'm using the Morphe E4 brush. This one has a really pretty, peachy, very luminous vibe to it. I'm going to just spritz my face with the MAC Fix Plus. And just set everything in place. And then while it's still a little bit wet, I'm going to get a little highlight. This is Hustler Baby from Fenty. And I'm going to just highlight the tops of my cheekbones. We gotta move fast before it dries down, you know? <laughs> and my cupid's bow. When I was thinking of this video, I really could not think of any game-changing makeup palettes. So I'm going to do my eyes off camera and I'll be right back to tell you the last game-changing product. Alright, I'm back. My eyes are done. This is going to be look number one from my 5 Looks 1 palette with the Raw Beauty Christie collaboration palettes. So that video will be coming at some point. I just started working on it. And this eye look brings us to the ninth and last game-changing product that just makes me feel flawless and love the way that my makeup looks and that is mascara. And not just any mascara but the new Pat McGrath mascara. That is the mascara that I'm wearing right now and I feel absolutely no need to put false lashes on with this mascara on. I'm lucky to have long lashes, but usually I put mascara on and they do not look like this by any means. I think this mascara is super special in the way that it separates your lashes. Like, I think it makes every single hair look so much fuller and longer and voluminous and I love that it doesn't clump them together which I feel like makes it seem like you have less eyelash hairs this mascara just kind of enhances every single one of them I did a video reviewing it and comparing it to the Pat McGrath original mascara which I'll link up there if you guys want to go watch it but oh my god I cannot recommend this mascara enough I'm totally obsessed with the way that this mascara makes my eyelashes look so to finish up this makeup look, let me just do a little bit of lipstick. I'm going to use my L'Oreal 416 Eye Create Liquid Lipstick. And I'm going to do the Hedwig Gloss from the Ulta and Harry Potter collection because it has like the best shine. And I feel like it matches the center of my eyes. And this right here is today's makeup look. I absolutely love using every single one of these products that I wanted to tell you guys about in this video. They make the overall appearance of my makeup better and they make me feel flawless. I absolutely love how smooth shaving my face with a razor makes my skin look. I absolutely love how supple and plump and hydrated Magic Cream makes me feel and look. I don't think my eyebrows have ever looked better than using Patrick Ta's Brow Wax or the MAC Brow Pen, especially those two combined. I am in love. I don't think I have a foundation that makes me feel and look like the Pat McGrath foundation does because I feel like it makes me look natural yet flawless and I absolutely love it. And the combination of Charlotte's contour wand and bronzer I think just makes my face look structured and bronzy and still kind of natural like all at the same time. That combo is bomb and I am so in love with it. And lastly, I don't think I've ever owned a mascara that made my lashes look like the new Pat McGrath mascara makes my lashes look. I absolutely love it. And so I truly hope that you guys enjoy learning about these game-changing beauty products that I think bring so much to my makeup routine on a daily basis. Let me know if you've tried any of them and what you think of them in the comments section 
below. If you guys like this video and this makeup look, don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up before you leave and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye!